Have you ever wondered how you can use GMM estimation in Stata to analyze your data? If so, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to explore the generalized method of moments, or GMM estimation, a powerful tool widely used in econometrics and other fields of study. This method is particularly handy when dealing with issues like endogeneity and heteroscedasticity in your data. It allows us to make robust inferences even under less than ideal circumstances. What makes it even more intriguing is its practical application. It's not just a theoretical concept tucked away in academic papers, but a tool we can use in real-world data analysis. This video will walk you through the practical implementation of GMM estimation in Stata. We're going to strip away the complexity and present it in a way that's easy to understand, whether you're a student, a researcher, or just curious. So are you ready? Let's dive into this fascinating world of GMM estimation and make it as simple as possible. To begin with, GMM stands for Generalized Method of Moments, a powerful tool for statistical analysis. It's like a Swiss army knife for statisticians. But what does it actually do? Let's break it down. Imagine you're trying to figure out the average height of a group of people. You could measure each person, add up all the heights, and divide by the number of people. This is a simple average, or mean. Now suppose you want to know more about the distribution of heights. You might calculate the variance or the standard deviation. These are examples of moments, statistical measures that give us insight into the shape, spread, and other characteristics of a dataset. The generalized method of moments, or GMM, is a way of estimating the parameters of a statistical model. It's called generalized because it's a flexible, adaptable tool that can handle a wide range of models and situations. Here's how it works in simple terms. You start with a set of moment conditions, equations that should hold true if your model is correct. These moment conditions are based on the parameters you're trying to estimate. You then choose a set of weights for these moment conditions. The idea is to find the parameter values that make your moment conditions as close to being satisfied as possible, given these weights. The beauty of GMM is its versatility. It doesn't require as many assumptions as other methods like ordinary least squares or maximum likelihood. This makes it a go-to method for many complex statistical problems. Now, I know this might sound a bit daunting, especially if you're new to the world of statistical modeling, but don't worry. Like any tool, GMM becomes easier to understand and use with practice. Now that we have a general idea about GMM, we can move on to its practical application in Stata. You might ask, why Starter? Well, it's a powerful statistical software that is widely used in research. Starter is a comprehensive integrated statistical package that provides everything you need for data analysis, data management, and graphics. Stata's features are vast, ranging from data management, statistical analysis, graphics, simulations, regression, and custom programming. One of the key features of Starter that makes it a suitable platform for generalized method of moments or GMM estimation is its ability to handle panel data. It can help you manage and structure large data sets, which is often necessary in GMM estimation. Furthermore, Stata's user-friendly interface is a bonus. It offers both point and click interface and command syntax, which makes it accessible to users with different levels of expertise. Stata also boasts an active user community, ready to help when you encounter any issues. With Starter, GMM estimation becomes a straightforward process. Let's see how. It's time to get our hands on Stata and start the GMM estimation process. First things first, we need to input our data into Starter. This is done through the use command, followed by the dataset name, for instance, use my data. Remember to have your data organized in a way that Starter can comprehend. Each row should represent an observation, and each column should represent a variable. Next up, we need to set up the GMM estimation. The general command for this is GMM. Pretty straightforward, right? But there's a bit more to it. You see, we need to specify our model. And we do this by adding our model's equation after the GMMM command. For instance, if we are estimating a simple linear regression model with one dependent variable y and one independent variable x, our command would look like this. GMM y equal sign b1 asterisk x instruments x. The instruments option is where you put the list of your instrumental variables. Now after running the command, Stata will provide us with the estimation results. Here's where things get interesting. You'll see a table with coefficients, standard errors, 
z-statistics, and p-values. The coefficient represents the estimated effect of the independent variable on the dependent variable. The standard error gives us a measure of the uncertainty around this estimate. The z-statistic and p-value allow us to test the null hypothesis that the coefficient is zero. But wait, there's more. You'll also see a couple of diagnostic tests like the Hansen J statistic and the difference in Hansen tests. These tests help us check the validity of our instruments and the over-identifying restrictions. So that's the gist of it. Start with data input, run the GMM command with your model, and then interpret the results. As with anything, practice makes perfect. So don't be afraid to experiment with different models and datasets. With these steps, you can carry out GMM estimation in Stata with ease. We've come a long way from understanding what GMM estimation is to actually implementing it in Stata. Let's take a moment to reflect on our journey. We started off by delving into the world of GMM estimation, dissecting its very core to comprehend its essence. We learned that GMM, or Generalized Method of Moments, is a method used in econometrics for estimating parameters in statistical models. It's versatile, efficient, and widely applicable, especially in situations where other estimation techniques may falter due to certain assumptions not being met. From there, we moved on to the basics, understanding the underlying principles of GMM estimation. We explored its assumptions, its advantages, and why it holds a special place in the toolbox of many statisticians and researchers. We discovered that it's a robust method, capable of providing consistent and efficient estimates, even when the data at hand is not normally distributed or when there's heteroscedasticity. Then we stepped into the world of Stata, a powerful statistical software that is a favorite among researchers. We got familiar with its environment, learned how to import data and explored its basic commands. By getting comfortable with Starter, we set a strong foundation for the next part of our journey. And then came the exciting part, implementing GMM estimation in Starter. We went through it step by step from specifying the model and identifying the moment conditions to estimating the parameters and interpreting the output. We saw how Starter makes it easy to perform complex statistical analyses with just a few commands and how it provides detailed output that helps in understanding the results. So, We've journeyed from the theory of GMM estimation to its practical application in Stata. We've seen its power, its versatility, and its usefulness in handling complex statistical models. It's a journey that has equipped us with a new tool, a tool that can aid us in our research and help us make sense of the data that surrounds us. Remember, GMM estimation is a powerful tool in statistical analysis. Happy data crunching!